February is Black History Month all month long. We've been honoring the African American community. Cassandra McShepard joining us now to talk about black fashion. Oh, one of my favorite topics. <laughs> I start by a local fashion school to learn about fashion icon Lois Alexander Lane and Elizabeth Keckley. Hear their stories. Black Americans have been making contributions to fashion for hundreds of years. The problem is they've not ever gotten credit for it. One of the people I would like to speak with you about is the woman who made sure that everyone got credit for it. Her name is Lois Alexander. She is the first African American to start or found a museum of black fashion. About the same time that she opened the first museum in Harlem, she wrote a book, Blacks in the History of Fashion. She single-handedly decided that these stories were important to tell and that people needed to know their history. She made sure we knew. She left a legacy that arrived at the Smithsonian that made sure that we had somewhere to go to see the work that we've done. Elizabeth Keckley was born a slave. She learned to sew by her mother and her grandmother. She bought her freedom. When she did, she went to Washington, D.C., set up a dress store, and uh, started sewing and making garments for people, and she befriended Mary Todd Lincoln. When she befriended Mary Todd Lincoln, she began to sew for her, but they also became confidants, and they became very close. Uh, when Abraham Lincoln was killed, the first person Mary asked for was Elizabeth. The other thing she did was she wrote a book. She actually wrote two books. So the first book she wrote was How to Sew. So why is that a first? It was the first time anyone had written a book on how to sew. The second thing she did was write a book about her story, which was called Behind the Scenes, 30 Years a Slave and Four Years in the White House. So imagine this woman had been a, a laborer and is now the best friend to the first lady of the United States. So, you know, young people have a lot of people to look up to if they're presented with that material. The Edessa School of Fashion here in Milwaukee prepares its students for the fashion industry with a hands-on approach. I invite you to tune in Wednesday to Milwaukee tonight to hear part two of how African Americans helped shape the fashion industry.